it's Friday the 28th of October and I'm looking over to Devis. I'm just watching this buzzard. behind it and down into the dip anyway and uh, I'm just doing a weather report uh, it's quite unbelievable the the uh, the temperatures we're getting I'm just after seeing a butterfly fly across the road and still out in the fields. So this is uh, not normal for uh, late October. And I'm doing the palm walk again. And of course this is the only way to get the wee man for a sleep. You either take him out in the car or you do a pram walk. I prefer a pram walk. Especially on a day like today, temperatures, uh, you know, we're hitting, we're hitting 16 degrees. That's nuts. Now, the rain and winds last night were absolutely shocking. The place was blown to bits. The rattle and blattering and whatnot with the, the wind uh, and the rain were. The, you know, we're, we're getting really heavy rain on the fields. Are uh, are struggling to contain it. They're flooding, uh, and even up on the high ground here. But. Long, long might this weather continue. What, what we've been finding in the last 20 years has, has been the weather that we would normally expect, you know, October, November, December, cold, has sort of shifted. And I was telling Greg in Iowa this, and he says, this is his weather experience as well. The, the the cold weather that we would experience in these three months has sort of shifted to January, February, March and even late March. So we're getting really cold weather sometimes not every, not, not every year but sometimes cropping up end of February or right into to March. I remember, I remember one Easter. There was, there was heavy snow. So it's not particularly that you know we are heating up here. It's the. Uh, the weather has sort of shifted forward. And because I'm using one hand here, the pram just went down into a wee rut. So this is... I mean, I'm only out in my t-shirt and hoodie. That's very, very mild. But anyway, I'd better attend to the task of this man. He's coped. He's fallen asleep.
now you have it. The view for Belfast once again. I'll go on down the road a wee bit. And there's an example of what I mean about the fields being soggy for all this rain. And if I get back onto the main road here, those houses away in the distance, that's uh, Dundonald. There's the car, just going over the hill. And I'll turn at the big white house here. That's heading over Craig Antlet. Those hills in the background there. I just do a turn around. That's a very pleasant, pleasant wind. No, yeah, well, that's a warm wind. Now I have got to climb away back up the hill here. Wheel the pram. But sure isn't it doing me good. What else would it be doing? <laughs> ah, lovely blue skies. Excellent though.